All right, welcome to Right On with John Crane. And today I have another edition of What's In Your Bag Tips on Tools. And today I was going through this case right here. And in this case, this contains uh, lots of different screw tip bits and drill bits and that type of thing that I use in either this impact driver right here or my cordless drill. Now this is a, a kit here that I've compiled over time. And a lot of these bits you gotta replenish from time to time because they wear out type of thing. But this is just a basic kit that I've compiled that I can throw into my tool bag type of thing. And I know it's gonna contain the bits and tips and drills and that kind of thing that I'm gonna need to do the various jobs that I have to tackle. So I wanted to show you the innards of this case here. And maybe this gives you some tips on what you might wanna put in your own case there, or perhaps you wanna to add to your kit there. So let's take a closer look. All right, here we are about to take a look into the coveted John Crane tool bit case here. And I gotta say, I do like these plastic sorting cases here. I've had this one for about 15 years or so now. And this has just been a great little box here for just sorting out all these little various bits and tips and things that I got in there. And I like doing something like this a lot better than buying some deal like this where it's already, you know, all sorted out for you. Because I like to customize my stuff and I like to carry, you know, what I like to carry there, right? So if we open up this box here, right, we got all the little various categories and we got a long section here in the middle. So let's start taking a look here what we got, right? And I got to say that I do like these magnetic bit holders right here. Now this happens to be holding a T25 bit right there. And uh, this is great though for picking up screws and that type of thing, right? And sometimes you're trying to do this one-handed and a magnetic tip there is great for picking up screws, holding the screw while you're trying to get it in place there. And you can even, right, come in with your drill there and just grab one off of the table, right? can pick up some screws and I really do like that magnetic tip right there. So you know this is just a short stubby one here. So let's uh and then let's see what else we got here. Here's a longer one here right sometimes you need a little bit of an extension here and these happen to be Milwaukee right there's lots of brands out there and they all kind of seem like the same uh, I like these Milwaukee ones. They seem like they've been, you know, good quality, heavy duty. All right, so I do have a bunch of those and sometimes you need a bunch for different tips there. All right, what else do I have in here? All right, here are a bunch of countersinks, right? I always carry some of these countersinks for going into wood. And I find the smaller ones, you know, for regular screws like these T25 construction screws here, I find the number six uh, countersink here. I think this is a DeWalt. You know, the classic brand are these Fullers here, and I've had these for years, right? And uh, you can get these tapered bits here. And these are just awesome for starting screws into wood and that type of thing. And you can resharpen these and you can adjust you know, with a uh, Allen head screw here, the different length of how long your screw is, right? And, uh, right, definitely pick up a set of those. Those are great to have in the kit here. And also to go along with that, let's see. I got some of these Vix bits here, right? Now these are uh, lifesavers here, especially if you're doing hinges or that type of thing, right? Now what this is, this is a self-centering bit right here, right? It has, these are three different sizes here. All right, now what these VIX bits do is if you're putting a hinge on a door or that type of thing, right? And you wanna get your screw to go perfectly in the center of this hole, this is just a nice self-centering bit here. And you put that in there and that nestles right in there, right? And then you get this drilled right on center there. And likewise for any type of thing, like a Bennett clip right here, right? You wanna be able to put that screw in right on center. So for sure, I always carry some of these VIX bits here in the case. And then these are just some long bits here, right here are some long 
number two Phillips here for reaching into uh, some tight spots there, something where you need a little bit of reach. Here's a number two square drive long one. Here's a, uh, you know, a little bit longer one here of a T25. And those T25 screws, you know, those are popping up everywhere now, the T25. So you got to have the T25s there in the arsenal. And then, right, always got some Allen keys in here. And these are great for uh, adjusting the length of these uh, countersinks right here. All right, so let's go back to the back left corner here. This is all number two Phillips, right? And I like to keep a lot of these bits in here because these wear out. And sometimes if you're doing a lot of screws, right, you're going through these and these things are getting chowdered up, right? And you always got to have a fresh batch of those. And uh, this is actually pretty cool. This is a magnetic tip right here. And this magnetic tip right here, you can actually pull this off, right? And you can slide this over one of these longer screw bit tips right here, right? It doesn't have to be DeWalt, could be anything. And I think different companies make these, but this is a little magnet, right? And it's actually a pretty strong magnet there uh, for holding a screw on there. And it's a little bit more powerful, you know, than uh, one of these here. And uh, it's just a different alternative. You know, sometimes different scenarios call for different things here. All right. So the center compartment in the back, right? These are some nut drivers right here of different sizes. And uh, I just got this set not too long ago. I had some old ones in there, but this seemed like a nice set here. This goes from quarter to half inch there. And these are great for working on the car or you know you're putting in those timber tech screws or all sorts of things right you, these always come into play right i like having these in the kit here and then if we move over to this compartment here here's all the t25 uh, screw bit tips right here of uh, various lengths and sizes and all that all right and down to the left front here, here's a whole category of different uh, countersinks, right? You always need a different size countersink, whether you're in metal or wood or that type of thing. So those are good to have in the kit. And then, right, here's some socket drivers right here. And here we got the quarter inch, three eighths and half, right? And again, just like these, these are great to have in the toolkit there, and you can pop on, right, these sockets. You can go work on the car or whatever. You know, you're putting something together, and you got to have a set of these in the kit there. And uh, here's another cool set that I got, right? Here's a bunch of Allen keys right here that are on the socket drivers there, right, on a 3 8 Right, and you can uh, clip into that. And that's, you know, there's all kinds of things, right, that you're driving there with the hex head, right? All right, and then the next category over here, I don't know, a while back, I bought a bunch of these bit holders here. And you're supposed to be able to peel this off and stick it onto a drill right there, and you can hold some bits. And I was doing that for a while, and that's pretty good. But I ended up just using this you know, as little categories for holding different types of bits, right? So here's some different size Torx bits there. Here's some uh, Phillips head bits here. Here's some Posi drives, a number three Phillips there. Here's some more, uh, here's some more Phillips head bits right here. Uh, selection of flat heads and right, yep, there's still flat head screws out there you gotta get to sometimes. All right, and then if we move over to this, this is just like a, a, a various category here of different size things here. We got some square drives. Here's a number one, a number two. I got a couple flat heads in there. Here's some uh, different size uh, Torx drivers, some T20s, right? Different size, uh, you know, square drives. And uh, this one comes up a lot right here. I don't know what they call this, like a spider drive or something, right? That's always popping up. 
And a lot of these bits, right, sometimes you buy the box of screws and these bits come, you know, with the box of screws and sometimes you end up with, uh, you know, 10 or 20 of these depending on how many boxes of the screws you got. So, right, and uh, here's a couple more number two square drives. And, uh, you know, I used to buy these little kits pretty often, right? Here's a, I don't know how to pronounce that, Weeha, uh, Weeha, right? And this comes with a little magnetic tip driver right here. And then I don't think these are all original bits here, but right, here's the one, two, and three square drive, some Torx, some small Phillips, right? And uh, these are great little tip things to have right there. All right, well, that's pretty much it for what I carry in this little case here. All right, right on. I hope this tool tip helps there. And I'd be curious to know what you guys put in your tool bit tip box there, right? And uh, I know there's so many screws and so many different applications for things that you can use these for, these impact drivers and drills, right? So yeah, if you, uh, you got something specific that you use, maybe throw it in the comments there and maybe I can add it to my kit here. So, all right, I hope you guys are doing great. Please like and subscribe here if you haven't already. And please check out my website, writeonwithjohncrane.com. All right, I hope you guys are great, and I'll see you all soon. Right on.